Hello everyone and welcome to Storytime with Miss Taryn from the Davis County Public Library. Today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite animals in the whole world and that is cats. Um, I have two cats here at my house with me and I'm hoping that I can get them to make an appearance in our video today. So. Um, one of them is jumping on a table over there, so you may hear some sounds in the background. But at the end, I'm going to see if I can get them to come play with us, okay? All right, so first off, we're going to start with our hello song. So we're going to start off by saying hello to our friends. All right? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good job, good job, all right. So we've said hello. Now I want to introduce you to a short little song that is about cats. And it's to the tune of I'm a Little Teapot. So if you know I'm a Little Teapot, you'll have no trouble with this song, all right? So it's called I'm a Little Kitty Cat and it has some motions. So we'll talk about whiskers, we'll talk about feet, and then we're also going to creep and hunt like a cat does. You ever seen a cat sneak up on someone? Or maybe sneak up on an animal. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do in our song today. All right, let's do it. All right. I'm a little kitty cat, nice and sweet. Here are my whiskers and here are my feet. When I go out hunting, mice beware. <gasps> or you might just get a scare. I would be scared too if I was a mouse. You know, cats like to hunt other things too. So my two cats, um, their names are Pippin and Little Girl. They like to hunt um, bugs, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but they don't get to go outside, so they hunt whatever they can find. Or if a fly gets in the house, or a moth, they love to get moths. So. Sometimes cats just like more than mice. All right, so let's read our book. It's called Kitten's First Full Moon, and it's by Kevin Hinkes. See, there's a little cat on the front of it, and she's licking her little paw. So we're going to learn about this cat. And the poor thing, she keeps seeing a bowl of milk. And we'll see what happens to that bowl of milk. All right. Kitten's First Full Moon. It was Kitten's first full moon. When she saw it, she thought, there's a little bowl of milk in the sky. And she wanted it. Oh, here's one of my cats. <laughs> so she closed her eyes and she stretched her neck and opened her mouth and licked. But Kitten only ended up with a bug on her tongue. Poor Kitten. Still, there was the little bowl of milk, just waiting. So she pulled herself together and wiggled her bottom and sprang from the top step of the porch. Uh-oh, I've seen a cat do that before. <gasps> but Kitten only tumbled. She bumped her nose and banged her ear and pinched her little tail. Poor Kitten. Can you see her face? You think she's happy or sad? I think she looks sad. Maybe because she's hurt. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she chased it down the sidewalk, through the garden, past the field, and by the pond. But Kitten never seemed to get any closer. Poor kitten. Look at her face. Her eyes are so big and wide. Poor thing. Still, there was the little bowl of milk just waiting. So she ran to the tallest tree she could find and she climbed and she climbed and she climbed to the very top. 
but Kitten still couldn't reach the bowl of milk. And now she was scared. Poor Kitten, what could she do? Then in the pond, Kitten saw another bowl of milk and it was bigger. What a night! Now look here, she's climbed all the way to the top of the tree. So do you think she's gonna get the bowl of milk? Hmm? You think so? <laughs> I don't know. Cause I think you and me know what it is. We know what that bowl of milk is, right? <laughs> so she raced down the tree and raced through the grass and raced to the edge of the pond. She leaped with all her might. Uh oh. She's leaping into a pond. Do cats like water? Uh oh. Poor kitten. She was wet and sad and tired and hungry. That poor little kitten. I know my cats wouldn't like to get stuck in the water. Sometimes if I feed them in the bathtub, they won't even jump in because it gets their paws wet. Even if there's no water in it. So she went home. Look at her. She is dripping wet, running away, walking down the sidewalk, climbing the steps. And there was a great big bowl of milk on the porch. Aw, her own bowl of milk. A real bowl of milk, right? <laughs> Just waiting for her. Look, she looks happy, doesn't she? Lucky kitten. Oh, that wasn't that sweet. That was a good book. I really like this book. One, because it's about cats. And two, it's really cute. That poor little cat didn't have, kind of had a hard time trying to get its bowl of milk, didn't it? All right, guys. So before we sing our goodbye song, I'm going to try to get my cats to come play with us. We'll see if I can get them over here. I've got some of their toys that they like. Come here. Pippin's on the ground. Oh, did you see him? Come here, Pippin. Come here. So Pippin is a long-haired cat. Whoa, big boy got that feather, didn't he? Come here. Let's see. Pippin, oh my goodness. like a dog. He really, really likes people. So he's really fun to play with. Um, our other cat, little girl, kind of is antisocial. So she doesn't like to make friends as much as Pippin does. Um, you can still get her to play sometimes though. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, Pippin, you like this? Sometimes he just watches, but you play with the toys and he doesn't want to play. Come here. Come here, little boy. <gasps> okay, so the ball wasn't a big hit with him, but I bet I know what it is. I've got some treats, and whenever he hears the treats, he just jumps up. He tries to get them out of my hand. He loves them so much. Now, normally I would feed him on the floor, but I want you to be able to see. Hey, Pippin, say hello to everybody. Look. Come here. And we might get the, oh, here's another cat. Come here. Come here, my babies. These are my little kittens. All right, come here. Here's your treats. Over here. There we go. <laughs> All right, we've got some treats for Pippin, and we might have a little girl join us. Come here. Come here, little girl. This is little girl. She has a very delicate little meow, don't you? Okay. Here. Oh, Pippin, did you eat all the treats? My goodness, save some for your sister. Okay, well, maybe I'll have to give her some after we're finished. But now we're going to sing our goodbye song. I'm gonna get my cat with me. You wanna sing with us, Pippin? Oh, maybe not.
All right, <laughs> let's say goodbye to our friends. So I hope that maybe you learned a little bit about cats from watching this video, or you learned that you can do story time with your cats. Maybe you wanna read a book to your cats. Maybe you wanna sing a song to them. All of those are good ways to build your friendship with your animals. If you have dogs, whatever animals you have at home, it's fine to read a story with them, play with them, or sing songs with them. Okay, let's say our goodbye song, and then it will be time for our story time to end. All right. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. All right, good job. Pippin wanted to say goodbye too, so we're gonna say goodbye. Say goodbye to our friends, Pippin. <laughs> All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.